What's the latest on Darren Bed, Martin? Are you close to signing? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he's probably doing his own thing. No, we don't speculate uh, on players. Uh, I can I only can give you an answer when he's uh, when things are finalised with any player. So he was on my list, and we tried to uh, to get a few players in because I feel that we need some pace up front and. We need quality up front anyway because I've got two strikers. Normally you've got four, and uh, and we will try to get someone in in that position in the next week or so, and uh, in midfield as well, and, and maybe at the back because you don't know what will happen in the last couple of days. Um, there were reports you may even be having a medical today. Is there anything in that? People were, were telling me yesterday they had a medical at Crystal Palace, so, so that, that is changing every every day, you know, in the in the Premier League. But Ian Holloway has said this morning that he thinks Darren Bent's going to join. Yeah, and I really now. thought yesterday that he was going to Ian Holloway, so it's it's I don't know, it's it's yeah, pretty tough in the Premier League. What about Scott Parker? Has there been any developments there at all? I told you before, I rate you very much, I respect you, you're an old war horse like me, but I can't, you know, you can ask and ask and ask, but we won't uh, speculate on players before they came in and uh, finalise things and then I will tell you. Martin, I know you're reluctant to talk about Darren Bent, but um, Ian Holloway told the BBC this morning that he's, he's not joining Palace, that fell through this morning, and he said he is going to join Fulham, so is that not the case? I'm not sure if other managers uh, should say things like that, you know, because I, uh, I, we are not 100% sure uh, about any player. And I've got a few players on the list, and it's not easy because a good player is a good player. So there's more candidates. And uh, I told uh, my main man here that uh, we have to wait and see. And if we finalise uh, uh, transfer, then we will tell you. You'd rather other managers would maybe keep quiet. No, I can maybe some some uh, geezer or bugger told him that he was going to us, and maybe he's right, maybe not. We will see in, in the next uh, day or so. If you didn't bring anybody else in between now and the end of the window, would you be happy with with what you've got? I'm happy with all my players, you know. But I always said we need some pace up front. If we, we always had uh, four strikers, now we've got two with Rodriguez and Berbatov, so we need. Players, and that is why we work on every time. You know, when you think I've got a player, something happens. It's not easy because we will we won't pay the big the big transfer fees. Uh, we've got a certain amount, you know, in our budget to spend. And uh, in the ideal world, you get in two or three new players. And do you need that kind of Scott Parker figure, a player like that, to come in? Uh, as you know, we had the, these players in Danny Murphy, and he went to Blackburn. Then we had Dr. And he was injured. We still wait for him. But of course, you need quality in midfield, and you need. Uh, I always had English quality in my spine at Spurs. I did the same. We had English players. Five or six of them played in the national team, and that is what I want. But sometimes, it's impossible. But if you can get them, I will always take them. Hull have caused some stirs with the. This talks about changing their name, and, and your new owners come out and said that, that definitely won't be happening here. Is that good news for you? No, we are Tigers anyway, and they call themselves the Jaguars. So I think to call us the Tigers, and then I think uh, Fulham, you know, is a, is a very traditional name, and I don't think anyone will, will think about uh, changing our name.